What was communion like after the Holy Spirit came in the day of Pentecost? That's a question I never thought about before until I was just preparing to share communion with you right now. And uh, it describes this in the later part of the second chapter of Acts where it says many miracles and wonders were being done through the apostles and everyone was filled with awe. And all the believers continued to flo- close fellowship and shared their belongings with one another. And they ate their meals together. It's describing this communal life with those early believers. And I never thought about it until right now. What was that like? The first time after Jesus ascended into heaven and the Holy Spirit came, that they took communion. I don't know. But I'm sure at some point somebody said, hey, we had to do what the master told us to do. And what he told them or what is described in Gospel of Luke is this. Then he took a piece of bread and he gave thanks to God, broke it and gave it to them saying, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in memory of me. In the same way, he gave them the cup after supper saying, this cup is God's new covenant sealed with my blood, which is poured out for you. And I would imagine that at some point, shortly after the time the Holy Spirit was given to the disciples, they did that. And they gathered in in some place. And they fully appreciated the words that Jesus had said in that upper room. And so right now, I, I invite you to bow your heads with me and prepare your hearts to receive communion. Let's pray together. Lord, speak into our life and reveal any sin of which which we might be guilty. Reveal that. We confess that to you. And we thank you for the fact that you died on the cross for the forgiveness of those sins so that they could be taken away, the burden could be lifted, and we'd be set free to live for you. In memory of your gift of love, we take communion now. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So those early Christians, just like we're doing today, in our own room, in our own homes, like they surely took communion in their own homes, we take bread and we break it. And I invite you to take it, take the bread, and eat it in remembrance of Jesus. You may eat the bread. After the same manner, Jesus took the wine. And so I take the wine, and I I remind you that this is the shed blood of Jesus Christ given for your salvation. And as you drink it, drink it with the desire to be filled with the Holy Spirit of God. You may drink the wine. Lord God, we thank you once again for your gift of love in Jesus and the gift of your Holy Spirit that we can experience even to this day. And we pray that you would fill us with your Holy Spirit and help us to be filled with love for you and love for others and live our lives each and every day for your glory and honor. Thank you for communion and what it represents. It's in Jesus' precious name that we pray. Amen.